So you want to know how to check for asbestos in plaster. Well, this video is going to give you the answer. Hi, I'm Ben James of Oracle Asbestos, and today I'm going to talk you through how to check for asbestos in plaster. Today we'll be discussing the methods to identify asbestos in plaster and the necessary precautions to take. First, we need to understand what asbestos plaster is. Asbestos plaster is a mixture of plaster and asbestos fibres, commonly used in building materials before its dangers were known. It was valued for its strength and insulating properties, but is now recognised as a significant health hazard. Asbestos plaster can be found in many building components, such as walls and ceilings. Now let's discuss how to identify asbestos in plaster. Visually, asbestos plaster looks similar to regular plaster, often light or dark grey. Sometimes you can see the fibrous texture of asbestos mixed in the plaster. Specific products like textured ceilings are common indicators of asbestos plaster. However, visual inspection alone is not enough to confirm the presence of asbestos. To be certain, you need to conduct a laboratory test. The most reliable method is to take a sample and send it to an accredited lab for analysts. If you suspect asbestos in plaster, here's what to do. First, do not attempt to remove or disturb the material yourself. Disturbing asbestos can release harmful fibres into the air, which are dangerous to inhale. Secondly, contact a professional asbestos surveyor to conduct a formal inspection and take samples safely. The surveyor will wear protective gear and use specialised tools to minimise the release of fibres. The sample will then be analysed in a lab to determine if asbestos fibre is present. If asbestos is found, the surveyor will provide a report with recommendations for management or removal. Next, let's talk about what to do if asbestos is found in your plaster. If the plaster is in good condition and unlikely to be disturbed, it may be safer to leave it in place and monitor it regularly. If the plaster is damaged or likely to be disturbed, it must be handled by licensed asbestos removal professionals. Removal involves sealing the area, wearing protective gear, and disposing of the material safely according to regulations. The removal process must follow strict guidelines to prevent fibre release and ensure safety. So let's review the key points for safe asbestos management. Do not disturb suspect asbestos materials. Hire professionals for inspection and removal. Follow all safety guidelines and regulations and monitor the condition of asbestos plaster regularly. Remember, safety is the top priority when dealing with asbestos. This video has given you a brief introduction to the topic of how to check for asbestos in plaster. For more detailed information, please visit our website where you could find the full article on this subject. If you need further assistance or have any questions about asbestos, please reach out to a member of the Oracle team. We are here to help you to ensure safety and compliance in your building. You can find our contact details on the website at www.oracleasbestos.com. Thank you for watching.